As we head into the holiday weekend, you know, marinas all along the lake and river are going to be filling up as uh, boats get back into the water. That's right. It's going to be busy. And as that happens, local sheriffs want to make sure you stay safe on the water. Tim Pamplin hit the water today to get a very important lesson. Lessons were learned in our classroom. Well, was out along the magnificent waterways of our region. Grosseal Bridge, we're about to pass under here. My granddad used to say to me, Timmy, it's terribly important to have a little bit of fun. And getting out on our Great Lakes waterways is my idea of fun. And today, local sheriff departments wanted to make sure our fun doesn't turn sour. It's very important to know who has the right of way, how far to stay away from people. Where the Macomb County Sheriff's Department are. Marine Division uh, if it, if putting on a show and tell this morning, asking, asking us all to understand that when we go out to have fun on the water, that there's a few things we need to be cognizant of. Number one rule is always wear your life jacket and make sure it's properly fitted. Everybody should understand the rules of the water so that we could have a safe boating season. Of all boating fatalities nationwide, 16% listed alcohol as a leading factor. Number two, have a float plan. Let people know where you're going, what time you expect to be back. Number three, carry a fully charged cell phone or marine radio. If you get into a pickle, drop a dime. And you can never repeat this one too much. Life jackets for everybody. And it's the law. As Drone 4 floats above the Detroit River, it's an absolutely beautiful scene. And if you want to brush up on your marine safety, well, there's a class for that. We teach them free at the Sheriff's Department. We're trying to teach one every month at least, all through the summer. Kicking off the Memorial Day weekend, um, we want people to come on out. We want people to enjoy Lake St. Clair. We want our boating community to be safe. Yeah, so back down here live on Terra Firma along the Riverwalk. Boats of all sizes out here from the Gross Hill Bridge to the Ambassador Bridge. And what a fine day it is. Can we just go up here again? That Canadian smoke's disappeared. We can see the sun and lovely blue skies. Let's just stay on that for a little bit, shall we? Back to you guys down in the studio. Ah. Gorgeous as we're talking about our really summer is. bucket list. This just really whets Goes the appetite. Right into it? that. That's right. And it's so important to stay safe. You were saying you had to take a safety yeah. course when you were in, younger. In, in seventh grade. That's crazy. Um, we yeah. all, the entire seventh grade, took boating safety and we all got our boating license because we lived out near Bet Metro Beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so a lot yeah. of us That's were really boaters and had family and so everybody had to. Whether you wanted a boat <laughs> or, or, or not. Whether you wanted to or not. Now yeah, that was back in 1912. So <laughs> I don't know. Today. Things have changed a little. Maybe. But, you know, no, but, but I think it was really one of the greatest yeah, things. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't remember a lick of it, but I'm sure. But uh, you know, for younger kids, if they're going out, you can. Sure. I mean, you can just take your boat out, and so it was really a smart thing to do.